Whose land? There is a your land. There is your land. Your land. The Bible talks about a land filled with milk and honey. Say my land. Find the scripture. Say my land. Say Holy Spirit. Put in my hands my land. Holy Ghost. Help me to possess my land. You said in your word in Obadiah chapter number 1 verse number 17 upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance there shall be holiness and then the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions which include my land I must possess my land my land flowing with milk and honey hallelujah in other words the land that God is going to give you will not be full of contention and strife say Lord edit out strife and contention from my land let there be no quarrels listen as long as there was quarreling between Abraham oh this is powerful between Abraham and Lot there was no land Money runs away from contention. Are you listening to me? Money runs away from contention. A man prefers to live a house or live in the corner of a roof. This is in your Bible. When a woman is contentious, it's more comfortable at the corner of the roof. Do you know how dangerous that corner is? That means he prefers to leave his house. So there's something about contention that drives you away from your house. Better to dwell in the corner of a housetop than in a house shared with a contentious woman. In your scripture. Are you shocked? Do you see? Women. Just because you feel something doesn't mean you have to say it. If you say everything, you feel you're a fool. So, the enemy uses the contention of women to drive away resources from a man. It's a mystery. But it's true. So, in the fight for your land, fight to end strife. In the fight for your possessions, fight to end strife. Every time there's strife in your house, I promise you whether you see it or not, you lose something. The enemy knows the scriptures, so he knows what to drive land away from you. Say contention. Say it again, say contention. Do you know, even if a land transaction is being done, hello, if any party objects, huh? No one can fully own that title until the issue is settled. So until we settle contention, you will not have the land issue settled. Stretch your hands. Say, Jehovah, drive out contention from my household. Spiritual contention, physical contention, drive it out from my household. You showed us from your word that as long as Abram was with Lot and they were contending and there was strife that there was no land. But when contention ended and you separated them, you showed Abraham his land. Jehovah, remove contention so I possess my land. Any demonic contention that would drive away my land, I war against it. As I raise my hands unto heaven, I war against spiritual contention in the name of Jesus. Put it up there. After Abraham separated with Lot, Lot represented the contention, the strife. When you leave your father's house, there are spirits like Lot that go with you. Abraham left his father's house, but Lot went with him. Ah. What spirits went with you? 
Lot does not just represent a person, he represents a spirit. That's why at the point of breakthrough, that spirit was now contending with him. I drive out that spirit of contention from your household. I said, I drive out that spirit of contention. Unnecessary arguing. We drive out that spirit in the name of Jesus. You can win the argument and lose the land. I prefer to lose the argument and win the land. Whenever you are about to close a major transaction, major contention comes. The Bible says, do not be ignorant of the enemy's devices. That, that word devices comes from the Greek word stratomai, which means strategies. And one of the strategies of the enemy is to destabilize your environment when you're about to get a breakthrough. And then he can now legally say to God, where there's no unity, there's no blessing. Sometimes even if you have something to say, hold your peace. Later, Tabata Tato did. Do not so but shall not pepper on it. And you need discernment to see to And then you've got the spiritual dexterity to keep your mouth shut when you have something to say. Sometimes real power is in keeping quiet. <laughs> May you not be dispossessed of your breakthrough with a big mouth. I said, may no big mouth dispossess you of your... Are you receiving this spiritual intelligence? Say, Holy Ghost, give me spiritual intelligence. Help me, Holy Spirit, to have spiritual intelligence. Listen, when, when it comes to time for breakthrough, the devil knows which of your buttons to push. Hello? Are you listening to me? You need to now go on the anti-rev. You know, Andy River, you want to you won't find it on Google. Panes, Panes is in a while you drove a longer sooner. Revic, would you do a rev or something? What are apostles' favorite three words? It is well. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, if you are ignorant of his devices, he will take advantage of you. May the enemy not take advantage of you in your season of your breakthrough. I said you will not miss your breakthrough. I prophesy you will not miss your breakthrough. Every strategy, every strategy about against your life, it will not work. May you see the enemy's strategy miles away. I said may you see the enemy's strategies a mile away. In the name of Jesus. Say, I will see the strategy. Hallelujah. Can I want a strategy? What don't words was it? Praise the name of the Lord. This morning, the Holy Spirit said to me, one of the main agendas of poverty is to fight you owning your land. If you do not own land, you have nothing substantial to leave to the next generation. So the enemy perpetuates poverty in families by blocking the land issue. The whole liberation struggle in Zimbabwe was about the land issue. If you did history, proper history, not this, proper history, there was the land issue. Do you, on, uh, on the land issue. The issue was the issue of the land. And that issue has not stopped. The issue was the land and the issue is still the land. All this frustrating your breakthroughs, it's about the land. It's about the land. It's about the land. You must own a slice of the earth. I'm talking to you. I said you must own a slice of the earth. You must own a portion of the land. I declare and I decree in the name of Jesus, you are owning a portion of the land. Receive your portion of land. I said you are receiving your portion of land. Psalm 105 verse 11. Let's put some scripture to it. Saying to you, I will give the land of Canaan as the allotment of your inheritance. True inheritance includes land. Stretch your hand. Say, Holy Spirit, 
I receive my land, the inheritance of my land. I receive it in the name of Jesus. It could be a stand, it could be a plot, it could be a farm, it could be a mine, it could be an estate. Today, Jehovah, open up the realm of the spirit so I receive my land. As I raise my hands unto heaven, I pray these prayers. I must receive my land in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Psalm 44 verse um, 3 and 4, I think. For they did not gain possession of the land by their own sword. You can't get it by your own education. You can't get it by your own arm. But you need the right hand of God. Which means that you need power and, and you also by, by his countenance. By the light of your countenance, you need favor. You need two dimensions to get your land. Power and favor. Power and favor. Power and favor. Power to de deal with the enemies that say you're not going to get your land. And favor so that doors open for you and you close transactions that will help you to possess your land. Lift up your right hand. Say, Holy Spirit, give me power to dispossess the enemies of my land. There are enemies that are in my land. Give me power, oh Holy Spirit, to deal with these enemies in the name of Jesus. Listen, there is always giants in your land. If you do not want to do spiritual warfare, then you do not want to possess your land. So, it's, it's amazing. I mean, I, this is, I wish, this is a wish. I wish God removed enemies from my land. Then I just walk into my land. But why is it that God just allows the enemy to hang around the land? Because the enemy is got there before you. The enemy got to your land before you. So you don't want to coexist with the enemy in your land. So you need to remove the giants from your land. I wish there were midgets. Small, small you know those midgets? Hello? Or those small ca cartoon characters? No, they are giants. So whenever you see giant spirits, your land is near. Say, so every giant spirit that is in my land, I dispossess you of my land. I take my place. I take my land. I fight for my land. I war for my land. I declare and I decree, I am possessing my land in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, help me. I am contending for my land. With giants in the name of Jesus. Say every strong man assigned to my land. As I pray now in the Holy Ghost. Clapping my hands. I war with you. Come on pray clapping your hands. War with that spirit. Fight with that spirit. Contend with that spirit. Open your mouth and contend with that spirit. Fight for your land. War, 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 war. You've got to fight for your land. Joshua. Wherever the soles of my feet shall, shall tread. The more mileage you do, the more land you receive. Do you not see how much space I've got here? <laughs> so wherever you tread today represents the amount of land. Okay. Abraham, Aganze, look up. Anze. Northwards, eastwards, westwards, and southwards. This one. You can go and as far as you can. If I was Abraham, I would start walking so I could see more. Why should I, why should I stop there? He never said stay in the same place. The more I walk, the more I see. The, there's pieces of land you can't see while you're standing where you're standing. So you keep on moving and you keep on possessing. I declare and I decree you will possess. Thank God for getting what you work for. But thank you much more for what you receive by his hand. What you receive by yourself is by your hand. What you work for is by your hand. But there's something by his hand. Go back to Psalm 44. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The heavens are open over my mind. He says, for they did not gain possessions. You gain you gain. You gain. They did not gain possessions. Possession. The possession of the land by their own sword. So it's not by salary. 
By salary, it's hard to buy land. Go and calculate. They did not gain possessions by their own salary. Nor did their own arms save them. Why is talking of saving when he's talking of land? Because the moment you want to buy land, something begins to fight you. How many times have you heard that somebody, they, they, they just recently bought some land or they were about to buy some land or they were about to build or they were about to finish building and they die. I declare and I decree the enemy will not take you out in your season of real estate. I said the enemy will not take you out in your season of real estate. I said the Lord will save you. You are not getting into the ground. In fact, you are going to own your own ground. Instead of the enemy putting you in the ground, you will own your own ground. I said you own your own ground. Say I declare and I decree. I will not be removed from my land. I will not be removed from my place called there. My place called there. My address. I will not be removed from my church. I will not be removed from my house. I will not be removed from my business. I will not be removed from my marriage. I will not be removed. Okay. And the Ephesians 6, having done all to stand. This one, stand ye therefore. Why do I keep standing? Because Pandiri Papundupangu. Take on the whole arm of God that you may be able to stand in the evil day. You may be able to withstand and having done all to stand, stand. So, Udaku Viskwapa stand. The enemy will not remove you from your land. Stand in your land. Stay in your land. Listen, there are people who, when you're, you're writing about your land, you have to downgrade. Because in your mind, you begin to say, let me be realistic. Uh -uh, be spiritualistic. You must own your land. You must own your land. I said, you will stand by your stand. I said you will stand by your land. You will possess your land. I prophesy it. You are possessing your land and you will not be driven away from your land. As you get to your promised land, you will see enemies. The enemies will want to drive you away from that land. But you will drive them out. Receive power to drive out the enemy. I said receive power to drive out the enemy. I said no enemy will drive you out. In fact, you are the one who will drive them out. Say I will drive them out. Say every enemy of my land, I drive you out. Every enemy assigned against me in this land, so I do not receive my land, I drive you out. In the name of Jesus, say Father, wherever the soles of my feet shall tread, I must possess as I begin to pray in the Holy Ghost, clapping my hands, stomping my feet, I declare and I decree, I am possessing my land. Open your mouth and begin to possess, 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 possess. Possess your land. Possess your land. Joshua 14 verse 12. Say it's my land. Say I receive my land. Now he said, now therefore give me this land of which the Lord spoke in that day. Never mind the rest of it. Give me this mountain. Give me this mountain. Maybe you want to build on a mountain. Give me this mountain. Give me this. Not a. <laughs> it's specific and clear. This Find your this land. Stretch your hand. Say Jehovah. There is a specific land. There is a specific property. That I want. Jehovah. Give me that land. Give me the resources. Give me the opportunity. Give me the favorable price. Give me this particular land. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Joshua 21 verse 43. Are you being blessed? He says, so the Lord gave to Israel all the land of which he had sworn to give to their fathers. And they took possession of it and dwelt in it. There's a few things there. The Lord gave. Thank God for the government. But Ugapua, the government, you know, going to Mwari, Gawa Kupeland. Mwari, Gawa Kupeland. Chiruakashansa government, but make sure the Nature Tanga na Mwari. Except the Lord builds a house, they labor in vain that build it. You can build and labor in vain because no Zotoro. Psalm 127, verse 1. Unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain that build it. Why? Unless the Lord guards the city. So it's not just about the Lord giving you. He must give you and then guard it. Say, Lord, give me the land. Go back to Joshua. Say, Lord, give me the land. Okay. So the Lord, the Lord gave to Israel all the land. Who told you it's one piece of land? I've seen all the lands. I have learned, not lands. I have learned in several places. Land in South Africa. By the beach. Land in Inyanga. Land in the brook. Not just border the brook. There are other brooks there. Land in gated communities. Two, three acres. Ballantine Park. I'm just mentioning a few. Umwinsdale. Borodale. Greendale. To them are Dale, not my few. Cut <laughs> my field. Are you here? As I'm a crescent, I'm a drive. <laughs> Hallelujah. Say all the land. I prophesy, you will not be a one land baron. You will have a land in different places. Even beyond the brook and, and the drive. I declare and I decree plot number, farm number. I declare an allotment of land. Whatever spirit is saying you will not possess your land, I bind that spirit. I bind that spirit. The spirit that contends and says you will not build, I, I bind that spirit. Ah. And then you must have your shop. Ah. Thank God for residential. But we also want commercial. 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 We prophesy these things. The journey to, to having your land starts by leaving Pharaoh. You need to be freed from bondage first before we can discuss the promised land. So sometimes the bondage is to stop the promised land. Stretch your hands. Say any bondage that blocks, stops, frustrates, hinders me from possessing my promised land. That bondage, that bondage, I bind it. That bondage, I arrest it in the name of Jesus. Jehovah God, destroy that spirit of bondage that says I must stay in Egypt. In the name of Jesus, pray clap in your hands. Hallelujah. Sometimes the opportunity for land comes when the money is not there. We are going to pray for the grace to gather resources 
in time to take advantage of the opportunity. People in real estate will tell you that sometimes a client says, this is a beautiful property, but the timing is all wrong. It's not really timing, it's funding. Are you getting it? How many here can say, man of God, because of the resources not being there, I missed certain portions of land or certain opportunities. You see that? So the enemy dries up your financial opportunities. So you miss. It dries up your finances. So you miss an opportunity. Lift up your right hand. Say, Father, I want the grace for funds to be in place while the opportunity for the land, for the property is still there. That grace to gather. Jehovah, I need that grace. Raise your hands. Begin to pray for that grace. Stretch your hands. Say, Father, I, not only do I want land, I want the grace to manage it. Never will I mismanage resources you put in my hands. Stretch your hands and begin to pray. Very powerful. You will not mismanage resources. You will not mismanage land. You will not mismanage your house. Your house will not decay. Hey. Look at this. He said, so the Lord gave to Israel all the land, say all the land, to which he had sworn to give their fathers. Can you imagine God swore to give your father's land? What, what he swore, it still applies today. Are you not a seed of Abraham? Are you a seed of Abraham? So by becoming a seed of Abraham, you are an heir according to, to the promise. And you are an heir even concerning land. I prophesy. The land that was promised to your fathers, receive that land in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree that which God promised your fathers, receive it in the name of Jesus. From your spiritual lineage, you are receiving in the name of Jesus. I said you are a possessor in the name of Jesus. You will not contend for family land and family battles. I receive from spiritual lineage. I am Urinem Tauro. Tnodaisnam Tauro. May God give you land without contention. I said, may God give you land without contention. In, 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 in Genesis 26, he received land, they contended over it. He received another piece of land, they contended over it. I prophesy, the land you receive, they will not contend. I said, they will not contend. You, you Listen. You are going to receive that land. Are you listening to me? And no one will contend with you. They dug another well. And they quarreled over that one also. No, no, no. Go back. Go back. Go back. I want to show you a trend. I want to show you a trend. He received land. They quarreled over it. Another piece of land. They quarreled over it also. Isaac dug again a well of water. This is your business. Contention over business land. I, I subdue that contention. I subdue, I subdue, I subdue that contention. Isaac, and Isaac dug again the wells of water. That's your business. Which they dug in the days of Abraham, his father. So where your father failed to get business land. Hello? You will get that land. You will get that land. And win that quarrel. Are you here? I, I don't have to make noise and sweat and jump up and down. Are you, are you catching what I'm saying? I said where your fathers had a quarrel over land and they lost it. You are going to get that same land back spiritually and that quarrel against that land, you will win it. In the days of Abraham's father, for the Philistine had stopped them up after the death of Abraham. He called them by the names which the father had called them. You will get pieces of land and name them according to your desires. You, you will get the land and you will name it accordingly. Ah, you will give your land your name. It's scriptural. Did he not call it the city of David? Huh? You will give your land your name. And I'm going to eat this so cool. I'm going to go to Pastor Red Zinda.
Find a biblical name. I'm, I'm touching some things. Mashika <laughs> Pachira. Nonsense. <laughs> God wants the glory you're giving. Ajira glory. Oh, oro. Next verse. <laughs> also, Isaac's servant dug in the valley and found a well of running water there. Not only will you find land, hello, but your employees will find you opportunities. I said your employees will find you opportunities. Stretch your hands. The grace for faithful men. The grace for faithful men who will find opportunities and give them to you. I said the grace for faithful men. Do you know how many businesses have shut down because of unfaithful employees? I said the grace for faithful men who will find opportunities and give them to you. I release that grace over your life. I prophesy that over your life. I said the grace for faithful men, the grace for faithful men, the grace for faithful men who will find land and put it in your hands, who will find opportunities and put it in your hands. I said, may God give you men and women that will give you opportunities that they find. They will not subdue those opportunities. In the name of Jesus. Next verse. Next verse. He says, but the headsmen of Gera quarreled with Isaac headmen. May your employees not quarrel in a way that will cause you to have losses. And the water is ours. So he named the name of the well Essek because they quarreled him over it. Ah. Say Essek. Say Essek. I declare and I decree. Essek, Essek will not be the portion, the portion of you and your family. Always having quarrels over land, over territories. I bind the spirit of Essek. Essek is a spirit. A spirit that comes to argue with you the moment you want to have some possessions. I said, we are Essek. We are going to bind that spirit. Open your mouth and begin to pray. It's a spirit. The spirit of Essek. The spirit of Essek. You are supposed to get some land. There's a contention. Essek is a spirit. Essek is a spirit. Essek is a spirit. Essek is a spirit. Mwewa Essek. Mwewa Essek. Mwewa Essek. Yes. Yes. Listen. Can I mwewa Essek? Hello. When that spirit of Essek comes and you want to buy a piece of property, suddenly you are told there's a carpet. You don't know covet. Come cut some banana and you're beside. Could I find out ten years ago? Hello, those are called spiritual complications. It's not a covet, it's an essay. The spirit of essay comes to quarrel over land. You can even be buying land, and then the husband starts to disagree. With the wife. Something that starts in your bed in their bedroom begins to affect you. Uh, hello? If a couple does not agree, the, the cell the cell, the cell cannot sail through. No, but but remember the cambo rotan shiva and she is a matanga papu. Don't take some under some matanga. You are the one who wants to buy the plot, but the wife now remembers a dream about who could say white, which she never intended to build anyway. It's not about the dream, it's you. So the enemy looks for legalities and technicalities just so that you don't possess a piece of land. Stretch your hands. Say, Holy Spirit, remove spiritual contention 
over land that I need to buy, that I need to possess. Every legality and technicality that arises over land I need to possess. I bind those legalities. I destroy those technicalities from the realm of the spirit. There shall be no contention. The spirit of Essek, I bind it in the name of Jesus. Pray. Yes. 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 Essek. 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 Hallelujah. Look at this. Next verse. He says, but next verse, they quarreled with him at Essek. And it, then they dug another well. Hey, you just keep trying. They dug another well. And they quarreled over him with that one also. And he called it Sitna. He called it Sitna. They, they argued over that one again. Hey. Somebody say continuous argument. Can you see my own arguments by land? Are you seeing it? Stretch your hand. Say every spirit that arises and keeps arguing. When I'm supposed to possess my land, that spirit, I wage a war against it. I fight that spirit. As I pray now in the Holy Ghost, clapping my hands, I war with that spirit that keeps rising up at the point of possessing land. Open your mouth and pray. It's a spirit. Listen. If you see this trend, that's why you realize you need a seed. Why do you seed? Because you need God to come into the equation. Are you getting it? Anything that is substantial that you are doing, seed because you need God to step in. If that is the only reason, it is good enough. He says they dug another well and they quarreled over that one and they called it Sitna. Next, next, next verse. And he moved from there. Do you see? So where this argument you have to move. He moved from there and dug another well and they did not quarrel over it. So he called its name Rehoboth. You see that? So we keep fighting until it is ours. Until we get ours. Say, I will get what's mine. Say, I will receive mine. Say, the spirit of arguing, I remove you from my land. I will get mine, the one without argument. So you see, the Bible tells us that there's a spiritual possibility that you can get one that has no argument. He says, for now, the Lord has made room for us. Who has made room? So you see the point of seeding. So that God comes and God makes room. Now, the Lord will make room for you. I said, the Lord will make room for you. I said, the Lord will make room for you. You will build your rooms where the Lord will make room for you. I said the Lord will make room for you. No one will ever come and ask you why you are building here. I prophesied over your life. I said no one will ever come and ask you why you are building here. Glad more come here. No one will ever come and ask you what you are doing here. The Lord will build, will help you to find your land, your land without contention, your land flowing with milk and honey. And every contention, we command it to cease. I said we command it to cease. Say, I receive my land. Say it again. Say, I receive my land without contention in the name of Jesus. A land without strife, a land without issues. I receive it in the name of Jesus. A land without scarcity. A land flowing with milk and honey. Father, give me land. In the name of Jesus. What a word. Keep praying. These prayers have never been prayed. They need to be prayed. So we unlock. Listen. He says in Jeremiah 22 verse 29 and 30. Write this man down as childless. So you can have a book and you can write a man as anything. Write this man down as landless. 
If they can write childless, they can write landless. Ah. So there's a book where they write people with no land. We're going to remove you from that book. Stretch your hands. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, any book in the realm of the Spirit where they write people that they would not own land, Jehovah, remove me from that book. Whatever is written on this earth that I should not own land or I should be a part of a group of people that do not own land or properties, Jehovah, blot out my name from that book as I pray in the Holy Ghost, clapping my hands. I blot out my name. I blot out my name from that book. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Isaiah 14, verse 1 to 2. He says, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will still choose Israel and settle them in their own land. Say, Settled in my own land. Say it again, Settled in my own land. Stretch your hands. Say, Holy Spirit, settle me in my own land. Say, Holy Spirit, help me to settle in my own land. Now, that word settle means that you get to a place of rest. This one. That means that and you settle in whose land? Not in the land. In my own land. Raise your hands to heaven. Say, Father, help me to settle in my own land. As I raise my hands unto heaven, the grace to settle in my own land. I receive that grace. The grace to settle in my own land. Come on, pray for that grace. It's a special grace. Hallelujah. May you settle in your own land. I said, may you settle in your own land. I speak that land in the name of Jesus. Stretch your hands. We're going to pray that prayer again. Say the grace to settle in my own land. Stretch your hands to the altar and begin to pray. Keep praying. Genesis 15 verse 7 to 9. Keep praying. Genesis 15 verse 7. Then he said to him, I am the Lord. You see, the Lord is always involved in the issue of land. Please don't forget this thing. I am the Lord who brought you out of air of the Chaldeans. So you have to be freed first. This one. Why? To give you this land to inherit it. Deliverance first, then you possess your land. So the enemy fights deliverance ministries so that people don't possess. To possess what? This land. Say this land. Say, Lord, give me this land to inherit it. So you will not pay for everything. You will not pay for all your land. You are not in agreement. I said you will not pay for your own land. You will not pay for all your land. Some you will buy, some you will inherit. Some you will buy, some... Uh... Stretch your hands. Say, Holy Spirit, land to inherit from you. I receive it. According to Genesis 15, verse number 7. Raise your hands. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Raise your hands. Say, Spirit of poverty that says I'll never inherit any land. I fight you. As I pray now in the Holy Ghost, clapping my hands, I fight that spirit. Hallelujah. The land you get will have title deeds. No. <laughs> the land you get will have title deeds. <laughs> you will not buy land without paperwork. You know why that demon manifested? Huh? Because they were going to give him land with arguments. 
you will not have to go to court for land. Oh, you are not agreeing? You need to agree. I said you will not have land that you have to go to court for. No, 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 no. Even if you get land from government, the grace to pay for it and make it your own and put a banner for God. I prophesy that in the name of Jesus. Finally, 1 Kings 21, verse 15 to 16. The wicked will not take your land. Look at this. And then it came to pass when Jezebel heard that Naboth had been stoned and was dead, that Jezebel said to Ahab, Arise, take possession of the vineyard of Naboth. Somebody say, It will never be me. Say it, again. Say, it will never be me. Ah. The enemy will not kill you for your land, the enemy will not kill you for your property. Say, Jehovah, I declare and I decree. The enemy will not be able to kill me. He will not be able to kill me for my land. In the name of Jesus, please stretch your hands and begin to pray. The enemy will not be able to kill you. He will not be able to kill you. He will not be able to kill you. Azite, the enemy will not be able to kill you for your land. Azite, we refuse. We refuse. You will not die because of a piece of land. You will not die because of a property. You are more valuable than the property. You will not be killed because of a property. You will not die because of a property. I prophesy over your life. You will, your blood will not be spilled because of a property. It will not happen. You will not die because of a property. You will not die because of a property. Listen, when you buy a property, the enemy feels he has lost. So I'm not a shy son. You understand, shy son? So that now it's just lose, lose. You will not lose your life over a property. We release your property from the realm of the spirit. Now lift up your hand. Say, Father, I pray now as I receive my property. Put a hedge of fire round about me. The enemy will not take me out because of my property. Raise your hands high. Begin to pray. Pray. You will not lose your life because of your property. As written, we refuse that. We refuse that. You, if we deal with poverty thoroughly, you must possess your land. I declare and I decree you are possessing your land. Say, I will possess my land. Say, every power that fights me owning my land you spirit of poverty you did not allow my fathers to have inheritance of land it will be minus me my case is different my case is different my case is different my case is different say i receive my land in the name of jesus my case is different stretch your hands and begin to pray you'll be different from your fathers you'll be different from your fathers you will be different from your fathers. Shalana makula dabahaya. You will be different from your fathers. Your case will be different. Your story will be different. Listen, that which affected your fathers will not affect you. That which affected your fathers concerning land, it will not affect you. I prophesy no sickness will befall you because you have bought a piece of land or because you are building. And finally, Genesis chapter number 47, verse number 15. The Bible says it came to pass that money failed. We want to remove failure from your money. Your money must not fail. Did that be an ass? Maria itenge. Maria itenge. Your money will buy. Your money will buy cement. Your money will buy bricks. Uh, your money will buy timber. Your money will buy tiles. Your money will buy glass. I said your money will buy electrical gadgets. Your money will buy. I prophesy the crash for your money to buy. Say, Father, I declare and I decree my money 
will buy. Every curse placed upon my money that my money should not buy. Kudimari yangu ingo parara. Ingo tsakatika. Itaze kutenga. Mweya iwoyo. Tuno usunga nas. Nestara jesu. Mweya iwoyo. Unotizo. Mariangu. Aiwande. Tuno usunga mweya iwoyo. Nestara jesu. Lift up that money. Lift it up. Lift it up. Say money failure. Say money failure. I shut down that spirit. Raise your hands to heaven, everyone. Say, Father, the spirit that shuts down businesses, I edit it out of my life. I remove that spirit from operating in my life. My money will not fail. My resources, they will not fail. You spirit of money failure, I remove you from my life. Raise your hands. Begin to pray. Your money will not fail. Wherever you have failed financially, we remove that. We remove that from your life. We remove that spirit. 